there is definitely a, a general evolution and the evolution does make us grow, grow in experience, grow in knowledge and wisdom and in perspective. Now, an old soul has a certain sense of, of, or let's say it needs far less experience and it's, uh, it's, it hunts or it, it chases after life's experiences uh, uh, much less eagerly because it has already a wis the wisdom that is the result of going through these experiences, you see? So, in a sense, it is, it is wisdom that makes it capable or keeps it more observing than other, than other souls, you see? Less involved. There is some kind of, of, of distance, some kind of, of knowing distance. And there is generally less fear, more curiosity, less fear of death because it has known death and it also knows that death is not a tragedy. <laughs> and there is an ability, a greater ability to, uh, to transcend spiritually. Usually ancient souls, they don't need to, to struggle with meditation, for instance, or with spirituality. It's not, these are familiar concepts. They've already perhaps been monks or, or nuns and they've been, they, they've experienced They've practiced, you see? They've practiced also self-discipline to a sufficient degree. So, so they have certain, they manifest certain qualities of self-restraint, uh, uh, self-dignity. And, uh, and the quicker understanding of spiritual concepts and, uh, and uh, they, they just don't need to go through so much. On the other hand, the young soul is, is fresh. So it's just like a baby. It wants to experience, so, so it suffers and it, it laughs and it, it is eager and it's, it's completely without perspective, you see? <laughs> Babies, children, they don't have perspectives. Perspective, they don't have this distance. They are life. They are a magnificent eruption of life but they are life. So many, this is of course has nothing to do with being old physically or young, right? Because many old people go, uh, go to, the, uh, to the moment of death, move toward the moment of death uh, in a very young uh, way. And when I say young, I, I, talk in, I mean in terms of soul. They don't, they don't die with the ability to separate themselves, with the ability to complete. They die exactly as their role. They die exactly with their memories, uninterrupted, untreated. They die as their story. So if they, you die as your story, the story, the story carries on. That's, that's just a simple law. You have given it a sort of strange immortality, you see? <laughs> because it just hovers there, <laughs> looking for, for another embodiment. It's a sense of, of, of continuation. Now, of course, we sometimes are too generous in saying you are an ancient soul, you are, uh, and so on and so on. But, uh, but sometimes it is, it is a, a, a clear intuition. Yes. There is something about ancient souls that, that is simply ancient. Uh, uh, deeply speaking, it means that we, that we look at them and we feel that they are, that they, it's like it's as if they are hundreds, 
of years old, you see? They are not just, they've not been here for 80 years. They are, they have some kind of gravity, some kind of knowledge of wis or wisdom that, uh, that uh, transcends uh, one particular lifetime. <laughs>